How's she going right there, eh? It's Denis here from Denis Logie Outdoors. Uh, this is going to be a black bear rug update, just to kind of show how I'm making out with it. Uh, so I shot this bear, I think it was November 4th, and it's December 4th or 5th today. Um, so in the process, I think I showed in my last video there, me, um, after I had it all skinned out. So I skinned the bear, um, and then I was saying I was putting it in my pickle. So, um, what I did is I, for every gallon of water, I used eight ounces of sulfuric acid or battery acid that you can get, uh, at any car place or a garage, let's say, and one kg of salt. Um, so I probably had three or four gallons of water in this big barrel and I've reused the same stuff over and over again. I've just, uh, would add some more acid and salt and some water to kind of bring the strength back up. Uh, I know you really shouldn't do that, but I mean, you could test the pH. I'm not even sure exactly what the pH should be at when you do it. And, uh, so I let it soak in that for, I think it was 14 days. I would stir it around every day or so uh, to make sure um, you know it was all submerged and everything was getting a good um, saturation in the hide and then what happens is the hide thickens right up and gets really stiff and thick and uh, then I take it out I actually uh, would let it drip dry somewhat and then I rinsed it off really well um, with water um, I had it actually in this wheelbarrow and I had a garden hose and I would just keep overflowing it and I rinsed it out, rinsed it out. Then I let it sit with a bunch of baking soda to denutralize it because uh, it's really hard on your hands when you're working on it to flush it. So rinsed it all out and then let it drip dry again. And uh, I had it laid flat on a big table I had outside and usually normally I use an electric mini grinder that you would grind steel with with a thick blade like uh like a one eighth or a quarter inch thick blade on a four and a half inch grinder and uh i would just peel off all the fat it's really hard on the grinder um i actually burnt out a brand new grinder it was just a cheap one and uh so what i did is i fleshed it all by hand it was a real cold day so it actually went better fleshing it because when you're grinding it with the grinder, I'll usually use that for deer heads because it's not as fat and oily. But with the heat of the grinder, the fat would just start to render and turn into oil and it was just a big mess. There's oil flying everywhere. And anyhow, it was it worked out. It was a lot better doing it by hand with a fleshing uh, beam and uh, like one of those fleshing, uh, hand fleshing machines, knives. And uh, so anyhow, I fleshed it all, did all that, and uh, so now uh, the next process was I let it drip dry, and then I laid it out flat, uh, let it start to dry a little bit with the fur side up, um, laying flat on a big piece of uh, plywood and plastic to uh, let the fur kind of dry out a little bit, and when I was brushing it down, and then uh, before it start, the skin started drying up and the outer edge would dry first and the claws and the feet. And then what I did is I mixed, uh, it was one cup of hot boiling water to one cup of Neats foot oil. And then I mixed that together as good as it would mix and then poured in one tablespoon of Dawn soap and then mixed that all up. And the soap allows it to all kind of blend together and uh, kind of makes like a little bit of a slurry and then I laid the skin side up and then I rubbed this mixture all in the hide and then left it and turned it uh, skin side down again on the plastic to let it take its time and absorb it and uh, on the edges it did really well um, in the center it's still it's not drying up in the middle part where the back of the bear is it's still a little damp so once it starts drying up on the edge that's when you want to start breaking it down and softening it up stretching it so uh, I didn't board this or anything it's just been lying on the kids uh, hockey table in the rec room and uh, drying up slowly now on the edges and I was doing it by hand kind of just pulling it and trying to break it softening it down um, 
but what I decided to do is I came outside and I just have this cable hooked up on the side of the woodshed and I just got to come along and I just got to come along to uh, my mill just to kind of hold it there and uh, basically you just kind of lay it with two hands and you just kind of rub it back and forth on the wire on the cable and it breaks it down and it kind of works out I'm always surprised on how well this turns out like this this is actually warm from doing that and uh, you can kind of lean back and kind of get your weight into it and pull as hard as you want and uh, it softens right up so uh, what I did is I just did the outside edge I did I think all four legs four feet the head I didn't bother it's still really wet it's still all turned inside out I really don't care too much about softening this because once this is all dry um, I will be ordering a rug shed or a rug uh, shell mount so basically it's just the head with the mouth open with eyes and teeth and uh, put the teeth in and it slides in and you glue it and it's basically like the head is coming up off the floor um, so if you want to lay this on the floor or the wall or whatever I plan on hanging it on the wall so I really don't care about the head because it's going to stiffen right up and get hard as dried out leather and in order to get that shell back in I'll have to soak it in water and uh, soften it up again and then I'll pull it on and glue it on so you can see I got little holes here and there from little nicks and stuff and I see there's a hole there I didn't bother sewing that up because that's going to be on the floor on the bottom you'll never see that I might sew it up after I did do some sewing there was a cut on the face there it is right there so I had to fix that up and uh, the lips are all split the eyes are split the ears are split and turned inside out and uh, maybe after I'll show how I do this when I put that on the mount if anybody's kind of interested in that and the same thing with the nose the nose is all, all turned to be turned inside out before this gets really hard I'll turn these ears back the right way and uh, tuck them inside and pull them out so it'll be easier when I go to mount it right now I just want it to dry up a little bit quicker like that um, yeah so I just went through sewed up all holes and stuff there is still a little bit of fat stuff I gotta yank off here it's easier when it dries up a little bit there's a bullet hole right there 45 70 went in yeah it's uh, really pleased it's uh, nice and soft just like leather um, I really for a rug I really don't care if it's really soft because it's not gonna matter too much because like I said it's gonna be hanging on the wall and someday I'm hoping it'll be hanging up at the camp so I left the, the pads on here also Sometimes I trim those off. I leave everything on as much as I can right now, and if I have to, I'll trim it up after. And uh, yeah, so the claw, so while this is drying, I've been stretching it, pulling on it to make sure that it, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't, they don't curl right up and look kind of funny. After all this is all done and softened up, also there's a few bare spots in the belly area. Yeah, there's a spot right there. Some of that will get trimmed off, but it'll be dyed so I'll get some black dye and uh, usually you dye on this side and it works its way through and you put some on here if you have to and if not you trim it off once that's all done this will be all laid out and I'll lay it on top of a large bolt of black felt and then I'll draw the outline about two inches bigger than the rug itself and then you trim that uh, cut it so then this will be laid and sandwiched and hot glued onto that uh, bolt of fabric and then you repeat that process and I would put that black felt and the bear rug on top of another bolt of a different color either red or green so what you're going to see on the edge you'll see like a two inch green uh, or red all the way around the outside then a two inch black and then you're going to see the the bear hide or the bear fur itself so what it does it makes the hide or the rug look bigger because of the black and then what it does it helps hide any imperfections or anything from the inside um, and I may also in sandwich in between the two colored bolts I may put some type of uh, 
quilted fabric or to kind of thicken it up or soften it up, build it up a little bit. I'm not sure yet. There's a cut hole there, another one there sewed up. Nothing. I think that one there was because it was beside a, the, one of the pads when I was flushing. You can't even see it from the inside. So this will also all be brushed, brushed out several times to clean it all up. Like that's why I kept this one because it was in really good prime. Obviously, being a fall bear, except for here in the belly, they're always like that in that spot. Yeah, so that's the deal. I also I forgot to mention. I just thought of it um, after I did the pickle and uh, the rinsing, and before I let it drip dry, I actually soaked this. You're supposed to soak them in a degreaser. I didn't have any, so I used high test gasoline. I just went down the road, got a five gallon jug of gas and soaked it in gasoline. Done that with ducks and stuff that's really greasy. You let it soak for several hours. I think I let it soak a day or so. And uh, all the oil and grease that's on this ends up lifting off and rising and separating, I guess, from the gas. And then, um, it uh, kind of helps out with the degreasing process. Yeah, and you can tell. But, and it also actually gives the black hair a nice little shine to it. So a lot of taxidermists or tanneries, they have a tumbler, which I don't have a tumbler. I've always wanted to make one. But basically what they do, it's just a big wheel with some baffles in it, like a dryer. They throw sawdust, hardwood sawdust in there. They throw some uh, turpentine and then they throw the hide in and they just let it tumble and it'll do this soften it right up for you and it conditions it and it actually makes the hair really shiny but uh anyhow i don't have that right now so that's the deal with this uh i think this video is dragging on a little too long here now so i'll shut it down but if anybody's interested in me doing another part to this i may do another video on when i put the shell in and do that all that other stuff um, anyhow, that's, uh, just thought I'd give a quick little update, see how this is going. I have to go through and I'll go through now and pick all this bits of meat and all this crud off. If, if I was going to use this as to make garments and stuff, obviously that's what you would do. But since this is going to be a rug and it's all going to be sandwiched and hidden, um, I may not put too much effort into it. I, uh, I, uh, I'm doing this actually just to kind of get an idea and practice, get back up to speed to do this kind of work if I did want to tan some hides for myself. Anyhow, that's it for now. Oh, I was going to show, um, actually I did do the skull. Yeah, so there's the skull of the bear, obviously, and, uh, it's all fleshed out. Um, I actually boiled it, pressure washed it, and uh, I just have a couple zip ties on both sides to hold it together. Turned out nice, nice and bright, light. Yeah, so I'll shut this down. That's it for now. So if you got any questions, send me a comment. So if you could, like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. That's the end there. Eh?